Good morning, I'm Darren Van Vactor with Paragon Ag. There's been a lot going on, so let's dive in. Well, the highly anticipated USDA report, which contained multiple months worth of data, came and went with limited fanfare to say the least. The report landed right in line with the pre-estimates, making it difficult for the bulls or the bears to get any traction. Eyes immediately turned back to the U.S.-Chinese trade negotiations that continued to take place this week. Early in the week, President Trump indicated that if enough progress was made by the March 2nd deadline, the scheduled tariff increases could be delayed. The market also seems to believe we could dodge the second government shutdown due to the border security standoff. Trump reviewed a bipartisan proposal, and while he did not like the dollars, dollar figure for the physical barrier, he did indicate he did not believe we would see another shutdown. The market responded accordingly to the positive headlines, advancing higher. The good news is corn and beans have managed to hold together through all of this. Keep in mind, insurance levels are being set right now during February. Corn is hanging just above $4, and beans are a little north of $9.50 for new crop 19. As for wheat, we're still awaiting some friendly headlines. Slow exports, more acres than expected, although less than last year, still has the market compressed. We're getting to the time frame where maybe we could see something from either weather, export, or geopolitical event. We have a lot of time ahead of us, and whether you're still selling old crop or laying off risk on new, there are different strategies that fit your needs. Let us help, the help find the strategy that fits you. Give us a call here at Paragon Ag Advisors. I'm Darren Van Vactor, 888-452-8751. Be safe and have a great week.